Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin, and today we're doing something a little bit different. You know, I've not really talked about this, but I am a KJW. That's a Kevin Justice Warrior. And there's this hate site called Reddit that has a specific subdivision that exclusively hates on Kevin's. It's r slash stories about Kevin. And it's very upsetting, like if we just take a quick little look at the community details here. A Kevin is someone who consistently or greatly shows a complete lack of intelligence through incompetence of social and societal norms. Or is purposely antagonistic in their poor decision making. That's hostile from the start. Racist. And then you got the rules. No small understandable mistakes. Anyone who makes small understandable mistakes is not a Kevin. If they misspell a word or make a simple mistake, they are not a Kevin. They dropped something, not a Kevin. Okay, this is quite nice, actually, because it's kind of complimenting people. It's like, oh, you dropped something, you're obviously not a Kevin, then you're not quite up to scratch. So, that's okay, I'll let that one slide. Must clearly lack intelligence. I don't even know what that means. And I'm still offended. A Kevin is someone who consistently or greatly shows a complete lack of intelligence through incompetence of social and societal norms, or is purposely antagonistic in their poor... This is the same as the other one. They are obviously the stupid ones, not me for reading that far and not realizing it was the same. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> You're a Kevin! The, the rest don't really matter. <laughs> We're gonna skip over those. Okay, so I've gone to top of all all time and the first one is my boss's stepson is a Kevin to end all Kevin's if any Kevin is gonna end all Kevin's it's gonna be me we're gonna go out on my terms okay I'm gonna do my best to defend Kevin's here because I feel like this is a whole gang look it's hundred and six thousand people ganging up on Kevin's and it's not fair how many Kevin's are there in the world okay it just says the United States but there are over a million Kevin's all right we have you outnumbered we've got this 99.7% oh, of people with the first name Kevin are male well I'm glad I'm representing all genders here then oh, I'm a YouTube hero okay let's go over this and hopefully I don't get banned or demonetized for hate speech because that's what this is okay so just over a year ago I switched jobs and went to work for a guy Bob who was running a new used aquarium shop. The shop was built onto his house. So as a result, I've become pretty close with his family, including his 15-year-old stepson, who is the most Kevin person I've ever met. For the first couple months, I thought he was just a bit quirky and clumsy, but as I've come to know him more, I've discovered that he is a Kevin of the highest order. Now I've known some dumb teenagers in my time. Hell, I used to be one. Way to try and be relatable. It's not working. But this kid is just on another level. Just in the year that I've known him, he licked a match because he thought fire would taste like a flaming hot Cheeto. Well, have you tasted fire? Can you deny that for sure? Just saying. I haven't seen any studies on it. Might have to leave that one ambiguous. Who knows who's right? He cannot climb a flight of stairs without tripping up them. This is a multiple times a day occurrence. Okay, look. The last time I did that was... Last month. <laughs> okay. That's not even a lie. But in my defense... I was shouting something and put my arms in the air and I was distracted. I wasn't looking down. So, let, let's just skip that one. He once dropped a bowl of cereal and milk and rather than clean the mess with a towel, he soaked up the spill with his sock, a sock that was still on his foot. He then put on his shoes, went out to catch the bus and went to school with a soaking wet milk sock. He went to the school nurse that day because he was convinced that his foot was bleeding and soaking through his sock. Well, you know what? This... This story doesn't matter, because you know what you're doing? You're crying over spilt milk. What, what's even your name? Lego Maniac 89 Alright, I can't hate that. At least we can relate over something, right? Lego's pretty cool. Except for the Lego Harry Potter game I was playing recently. Harry loves getting letters! <laughs> <laughs> he likes to use... Oh no, he likes to use Jew as an insult. When I called him out on it, I discovered that he thought that Jewish people didn't actually exist. He thought that they were an imaginary race of people that everyone pretended to hate. Okay, Kevin, you're on your own on this one, okay? That this guy... This one might be a lost cause. <laughs> Bob told Kevin to wash the truck one day earlier this year. Kevin thought he'd be helpful and wash out the fuel tank as well. With water. Uh, well, you know what? One less machine to affect global warming. Kevin's out here doing work. And he was... Well-intentioned. He wasn't doing it for mischief, he was trying to clean. So, you know what? Racist. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna win every argument. <laughs> Who needs a solid foundation of an argument when I can just call them a racist? I also like how Kevins have changed from being a name to a race now. Kevin has decided to start writing a fantasy novel, and in a moment of weakness, I volunteered to be his beta reader. 
He then told me that it's going to be an erotic arc fiction with swords. Is this about me? <laughs> Damn, Kevin stole my idea. I like how he had to specify with swords just to get in the action readers. You know, he's like, oh, erotic arc fiction. That will get the ladies, you know, but we need action as well. So we'll, we'll say with swords. <laughs> Dude, I've never gotten so progressively angry at some one on. I didn't know. Well. Look, you stupid now, huh? He's commenting on the the fact he didn't know Jewish people actually existed. Why, a defauk? Where do Kevins get stuff like this from? Is there a special Kevin FM only they can hear? He's onto us. Call him a racist. Racist? Okay, let's move on. This, these people are just haters. They they don't understand this guy. <laughs> Some parts I don't either, but let's just go on to something else. Okay, this one is Sensible Sam and Kevin. Why can't we have something like that? Like, can't... Co competent Kevin, you know, KK. This is about a Kevin in my program at college. She, oh, it, see, this is that 0.3% we were talking about earlier. She was actually a pretty mediocre kid, mostly, for the first few years. At one point, a boy about a year ahead of Kevin in the program took an interest in her. Let's call him Sensible Sam. SS and Kevin set up a date at a nice place just off campus. I feel like I'm reading a fan fiction about myself this is weird kevin got understandably nervous before the date kevin's panic response was to drink an entire large milkshake immediately prior to meeting ss kevin is lactose intolerant kevin threw up for some godforsaken reason ss kept dating her they actually fell head over heels for each other and stayed together for years despite the fact that kevin suggested a lovely little downtown place for dinner got horribly lost and could find neither the restaurant nor the way back to campus has lived in this town for years. <laughs> Accidentally claimed to be single just after her and SS's one year anniversary. That's just romantic. It was just like, we're single, as in we're a single unit together. We're a team. That's sweet. They just don't understand it. Decided the minor side effects of her morning ADHD meds were not worth dealing with all day, so she started taking them at night. Her ADHD meds are effective for about six hours after being taken. She was almost entirely useless until she went to refill her prescription, and her doctor told her what an idiot she is. Well, the doctor's coming off worse than her at this point. That's very unprofessional. Like, have you seen a doctor's handwriting? I think they're the stupid ones. Alright, now, now I've become what I hate. Now I'm hating on doctors. And I'm, I'm trying to defend Kevin's. I'm hating on doctors. I'm sure there's some doctors named Kevin. Let's Google it. I'm sure I'll find one. Jury fails to reach verdict in trial of Cork doctor accused of sexual assault. All right, well, that's that search done. Asked SS how to spell his last name. His last name is four letters. They had been dating for months at this point. All right, look, there are plenty of hard names beginning with S, like Sock. <laughs> Google, help me out here. You haven't helped me yet, but I'm sure you can this time. God, there really is a website for everything. <laughs> like, what is the use of this? <laughs> Other than this exact specific reason. Alright, what if my name was this? Zizep, huh? You probably couldn't pronounce that, but you feel stupid now. Like, some of these are hard. This one is kind of difficult, and, uh, Song <laughs> forgot her shoes on the walk of shame twice. Well, maybe she's just not ashamed. Maybe she's empowered by her lack of shoes. You go, girl, okay? You go, Kevin. I'm gonna change it from whatever it was before to Confident Kevin with a K. In fact, cool, confident Kevin. Tried to take SS to meet her parents, somehow drove to the wrong state. <laughs> All right, that one's a tough one to defend. <laughs> All right, I found my defense. Look, there's plenty of places with the same names. They might have been trying to go to Paris, Texas and ended up in Paris, France, okay? You just punch in Paris and the GPS takes you to the wrong place. You're on a long road, having a busy day, your brain's a bit asleep. And you just end up in the wrong place. There's nothing wrong with that. It happens to the best of us. SS proposed a week ago. Still don't know why he deals with my dumbass. I got lucky, y'all. <laughs> Holy sugar. Plot twist. God damn, we were reading it as Kevin all along. In fact, Kevin was reading it as Kevin all along. The big plot twist. This one is my mom, Kevin. A lot of female Kevins on this, despite the fact that apparently female Kevins only make up 0.3 of the population of Kevin's. My dad and I were downstairs in the living room where the landline was kept. The landline rang and my mom, five foot tall, chubby Asian lady, comes barreling down the stairs at top speed. The phone stops ringing. She goes back upstairs. A minute later, the same thing. Phone rings. Kevin bolts down the stairs. Phone stops. She goes back upstairs, this time audibly annoyed by the mystery caller. After this happens for the third time in 10 minutes, we ask her what the hell is going on. Turns out she was unknowingly calling the landline from her new cell phone. Then upon hearing the phone ring, 
She was hanging off our cell and running downstairs to grab the phone. We haven't been able to figure out why she dialed a landline number in the first place. That just goes to show we can handle stairs. She was going up and down the stairs, didn't fall once. That's a new high for the Kevin race. Ethnic group. Species? I'm not sure. I haven't settled yet. Racist. Oh god, Kevin participates in sex ed. Oh no, this isn't gonna be good. <laughs> the presenters would bring in a wooden demonstrator called Woody for students to practice condom skills. Kevin was not paying attention this day. No high school student ever wants to be the first one to put the condom on the Woody. <laughs> so the presenters asked Kevin if he would be willing to demonstrate. Without any hesitation, he agreed, stood up, and began to unzip his pants. <laughs> Kevin had assumed he would be the Woody and apparently had no problem with this scenario. Alright, maybe just this one Kevin, alright? You can have him. We'll sacrifice him out of the group. And I won't deem you a racist for whatever you do. What what started this? Like, how do I how do I go to the oldest? Oh god, I think this is what started it. <laughs> and the user obviously deleted their account because they were ashamed that they were such a hateful person five years ago. But you know what? Fair play for repenting and becoming a functional member of society who doesn't hate on Kevins. Not for the color of our skin or the pronunciation of our names. Okay, this person is a teacher, so just a bit of context. Okay, Kevin isn't his real name, but it doesn't matter because he can't spell it anyway. <laughs> Kevin was a student of mine during my last year of teaching. He came to my classroom with very little to show for his academic past. I decided to meet with him, his guidance counselor, his parents, and other teachers to see what was really going on. This is where it all became clear. It was by some incredible fluke that his family hadn't been wiped off the face of the earth years ago. Odds are his entire heritage was based on blind luck and some type of sick divine intervention that saves his family every time a threat presents itself. Kevin was the genetic pinnacle of this null achievement. <laughs> this is getting too real, I feel like it's speaking directly about me. Even my instructional lead, a woman who could find a redeeming trait in a balrog, failed to see any reason this kid or his family should be alive today. So here's a list of events that made it abundantly clear that God exists and he's laughing uncontrollably. Kevin ate an entire 24 pack of crayons, puked, and then did it again the next day. This is ninth grade. I have no idea where he got the crayons. <laughs> so that he should be like 14 to 15 years old at this stage. Maybe he brought them himself. Nothing wrong with bringing a snack to school if you get hungry. Plus, they're gluten free and gluten kills. Kevin's dad wrote tuition checks and mailed them to me, his English teacher. This was a public school. <laughs> when I gave it back to Kevin, voided to give to his dad with a brief note explaining that this is a public school, Kevin got in trouble for trying to spend it at a 7-Eleven after school. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I feel like this Kevin shouldn't be judged that heavily. I feel like it's the elder Kevins, his parents, that should be judged. Like he didn't have a chance, did he? Kevin stole my phone during class. I called it. He rang. He denied that it was ringing. Not that it wasn't his. Not that he did it. No, he denied that the phone was actually ringing. <laughs> he tried it three times before the end of the year. <laughs> I think that's you. It's a bit feckin' rude, if you ask me, but I'm gonna continue on during your phone ringing. Kevin's mom could never remember which school he went to. She missed several- Please turn off that bloody phone. She missed several meetings because she drove to other schools. None of which he ever went to. <laughs> Kevin tased himself in the neck before a football game. What? What? Like, I'm not even- Well, I am. I'm confused how he did this. But I'm also confused who gave it to him. Like, if the guy can't be trusted with crayons, you don't give him a taser. Kevin says the N-word a lot. Kevin was white. The high school was 84% black. Kevin got beat up a lot. Why- Why are, like, three out of, what, six, seven people? Out of this test group, racist. <laughs> what? I, I'm starting to worry because that was my one defense I had to try and defend us Kevins. And they're not doing a good job of not being racist themselves. Kevin spit on a girl and said you should get out of those wet clothes. The girl was the Spanish student teacher. Oh Jesus Christ. How was this kid not expelled? <laughs> Kevin didn't know dogs and cats were different animals. Well, at least we won out on that one. They're wrong. Dogs are males, and cats are females. That's how it works. He thinks all dogs are boys and all cats are girls. There's no way to disprove that. Have you ever seen a cat penis? That's a good point, actually. <laughs> what, you're gonna use that as your defense? Pervert? The most Kevinly Kevin I remember. I think it was sophomore year of high school when a friend outed himself as a Kevin. He seemed like a normal guy until one day. Some of us were talking about the walk home from school. Kevin said he hated his walk home because it took him almost an hour. 
I'd been to his house before and it was only a few blocks from the school, so I asked why it took so long. Kevin explains that because of all the one-way streets, the walk to school is pretty quick. But to get home, he has to take a different, much longer route. Well, you see, I'm glad that my content can also be educational. I'm sure it wasn't just me that didn't know pedestrians didn't have to obey the one-way system as well. So, I'm glad to teach you a thing or two in this video. I hope you enjoyed. God, there are some bombshells in here. Like, Kevin is shocked that fire, in fact, is hot. It really is just a place where you can learn. Maybe I judge this community too harshly. They're just trying to teach people. I understand now. But as I said, hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was a bit different. Let me know if you want to see some more stuff like this. But for now, I'll just say appreciate you watching as always. And I guess I'll see you next time. Bye for now. It's just a matter of time before I'm on this subreddit. <laughs> oh, and I always give you so much fuel to work with. <laughs> oh, that's worrying. That's worrying. <laughs>